What's up everybody? OT for Tech here and today we're going to be looking at a case from Varus for the LG G3. It's called the Iron Shield. It's very unique because it has an aluminum bumper but it's a bumper style hybrid case. The outside or the bumper part being aluminum while the inside is like a TPU cover. I'll show you how to install it later on in the video. And if you take a look at the back of the box you can see it comes in gold, silver, black, blue, and pink and you can pick it up on Amazon for $21.99 and if you're an Amazon Prime member you get that free two day shipping with this purchase so it's a pretty good deal. So inside the box you don't really have anything but the case and you have a little bit of paperwork that we'll look at in just a moment but here's the case itself and you can see it has a perforated or dotted pattern back and on the inside there's like a web design to aid with shock absorption. Here's the paperwork that I was talking about which is basic installation instructions but you also have a warranty sheet so make sure you fill that out and submit it and it does come with the warranty with this product. So it's a two part series case. You have the aluminum bumper and then you had the TPU cover. So you're gonna wanna take the bumper off and then put the phone inside the TPU cover and then put the aluminum bumper on. Trust me, it's not like the Spigen where you can just slide it right in due to the aluminum bumper. It does bend and it's not flexible, but it bends and it will hold that shape. So if you bend the frame, you're gonna have to bend it back and take the chance of actually breaking or permanently bending and ruining the frame itself. It's not a hard process and it's not very time consuming so there's really no reason for you to do it the proper way. Just make sure you put the bumper on from the rear portion of the TPU cover working your way forward. And then while you're sliding it forward go corner to corner and side to side and you'll feel it slip into place. And once it's on there it's not going to slide off it's actually on there very tight and it's very form fitting. On the bottom of the case you have openings for your 3.5mm headphone jack, you have a microphone opening, then you have your micro USB 2.0 charging port opening. And I did not find any problems with using third party headphones except for ones that are L shaped. On the top you have your IR blaster cutout as well as another microphone cutout which are fully accessible and you should not have any interference when using the IR blaster app. Taking a closer look at the rear portion of this case, you can see you have an opening in the bottom left corner for your speaker, an opening for your laser autofocus, and an opening for your dual LED flash, which are all fully accessible and you should not have any problems with the usability of these features. Same thing for the volume up and down and power button as well as the camera, which are recessed for extra protection. And you can see a closer look at that dotted pattern with the Varus logo in the right corner. Taking a look at the front here, you can see you do get some decent lay on the table protection with this case. And mind you, this is with a tempered glass screen protector on my phone. It's also important to add that the front edges of this case are made of the TPU material. So when you set your phone face down on the table, you don't have to worry about the aluminum scratching the table or whatever surface that you have your phone on. Now there's no doubt about it, LG did an excellent job at housing that 5.5 inch display in such a small body, but the LG G3 is still a very large phone, so when you throw this case on it, it makes it even larger, it makes it a bit wider, and it makes it a bit longer. But nevertheless, it does not mess with the function of the phone itself, it just makes it a little bit more difficult to reach your fingers around to touch those rear buttons. My only complaint is the area around where the charging port is, is kind of sharp. And that goes for the area around the headphone jack as well, it's not going to cut you by any means, but at times it just gets a little uncomfortable holding your phone with one hand and you have to shift your grip. But truthfully, that's my only complaint. For the most part, this phone is very comfortable to hold in your hand and it provides excellent protection. So make sure you head on down to the description section below this video, click on that link and it will take you to their Amazon store and pick up one for yourself if you have an LG G3. Well guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. It really helps out the channel. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my new content. And while you're at it, why don't you check out some of my older videos? You might like what you see. Follow me on all my social media networks to have a more one-on-one -on -one based chat with me. And don't forget to leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Of course, as always, guys, thank you for watching and all your support, and I'll see you in the next one.